Hey guys, uh, Jade is waiting for a certain Papa Ragnats. <laughs> so we don't know how much time we have. So we're gonna play some Jeopardy. This is gonna be awful. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm sure it's going to be awful. Alright, well. Let's play. Uh, yeah, we're just single player in this up. Fun fact, Jeopardy! was created in 1963 by Merv Griffin from an idea suggested by then-wife Julianne. In 2012, oh, nope. Apparently that wasn't important enough. How good are you at trivia, dude? Um, so-so. We'll have to see. You might have to speak up a little bit. Oh, like this? Yeah, there you go. Oh. Please welcome our contestants. <laughs> Player two. Player three. If you get PlayStation now, we could totally play this together. <laughs> Alex thank you, Johnny Gilbert, and thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And let's take you right now. Either bobblehead Alex. I think that's actually Those Alex. Worth two hundred to one thousand dollars in these categories. Historic amours. What are you made of? The Olympic Games. Alliteration allotment. Coffee break. And... Intro... Okay, let's get back into this. Player one, you make the next selection as we continue. Oh god, what do you want to go with? Boy, um... I don't even know what half of those are supposed to be. Um, let's try... What are you made of for 200? Queen Elizabeth II at Madame Tussauds. Um. I have no... Player one? Uh. Oh, it's, oh, oh, it's, it's multiple it's choice. Multiple guess. Wow. They, what do you want to guess? They really don't sound since. Um. Wax. Oh. Probably. What is Wax. Oh. Oh! We're on fire, Daddy Yo. Choose again. <laughs> Alright. What do you want to go with? Oh, yeah, true um, achievement. Coffee break for 200. Coffee break for 200. The first Starbucks opened in this city's Pike Place Market oh. in 1971. I have no idea. Uh, but then again, like you said, it's if it's multiple choice, that makes it a lot easier. I want to um, say Seattle. Oh, I was thinking Portland, but it might be Seattle. Their home base is Seattle. Let's try Seattle. Oh, it's... okay. Whoa! Hey, okay. we return to you, player one. Yeah, look at that, Austin Powers playing off. <laughs> um, intravenous for two hundred. Venus's surface is hard to view from Earth because it's completely covered oh, well, by the clouds. Gases. Okay, player one. Yep, clouds. You got it. <laughs> player one, choose again. And we're stomping the um, floor with these computer players. Yeah. Um, intravenous for 400, then. One of these on Venus lasts about 244 Earth ones. Day. Let's hear it, player one. Day? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> player one, back to you. Yeah, it it rotates very slowly. Mm. Jade knows his Venus. You want to go 600? Yes. Like Mercury, Venus has this many moons. Ooh. Zero. Okay, player one. Zero. Yep. Good. 
Why, why do you know so much about again, Venus? Layer one. Well, any a lot of I have a I've read a book about the solar system, like, like I've, a newer I've read book about, or an older book. Um, both. Oh, I was gonna but, say pre read... Pluto or post Pluto. This dictator's <laughs> rumored romp with Pompey's wife was even riskier than his fling with Cleopatra. Um, they're probably talking about Julius Caesar. Let's hear it, player one. Yeah. Yes. Or Anthony. Please pick mm, would have been my player guess. one. All right, we're going to go with... We're Venus. not sure if it was ancient or not, but the first U.S. flyby of Venus was by one of these space probes in 1962. Ooh. That I don't remember. I want to say Mariner. Mariner? I want to say I think so. Voyager, but I think the Voyager went the opposite way. Mm -hmm. yep. ah! Oh, there you go. Look at that. Select again. <clears throat> All right. Galileo's finding Just finish that, that off. Goes through these, like the moon, was the first direct evidence for Copernican ideas. Yes, player one. Orbits. Phases, I'm presuming. No, phases. Okay. Hey, you're right. Damn. Player one, pick again. All right, we're gonna go with historic moon. <laughs> My favorite category. When this great guy became king of Judea, he banished his first wife, Doris, and married a princess named Marianne. Um, uh, no idea. <laughs> yes, player one? David? Sure. That well, sounds right. Oh, nope. I was, was going to say because they the emphasized great. I was going to say Alexander. Alexander. Let's hear it, player two. Yep. Nope. Harad. Nope. <laughs> that was Ragnat's question. For 13 <laughs> years, Madame de Montespan was the sunshine of this Sun King's life. Uh, okay. Let's hear it, player one. <laughs> Uh, Sun King? Any guesses? No, I. Yours is as good as mine. Alright. That's right. Woo! Right. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Player one, you start. Uh, what are we made of? Moses by Michelangelo at San Pietro in Vincoli, Rome. Marble? It's Player One. Marble. Probably. Yes. <laughs> yep. Player one, back to you for our next selection. Uh, sure. Oh, Daily Double! Woo! Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. The Daily Double. You are in first place. What are you going to wait? Let's do it all. <laughs> here is your Daily Double. Oh, we got a high roller here. On cheers. Huh? What? What? The show Cheers. Whatever that is. Is is that what they're referring to? I think so. Uh peanuts. It's wrong. Oh. <laughs> we're talking about wood. Ah, that was my second guess. Player one, back to you. Well, we just blew our load. Here's Kelly to start us off. The warriors of China's first Qin Emperor. Terracotta. Are this. It's Italian for baked earth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Player one? Yep. Why couldn't that be the Daily Double? <laughs> <laughs> Select again. Shit, everybody knows well, that. <laughs> we're already back in the lead already. St. John the Baptist by Donatello at Siena Cathedral. Ooh. Okay, player one? Ooh. Um, probably copper, then? It's 
probably Ivory. Uh, anyone else? Nobody else? Can I guess again? No, I can't. Here's what we wanted. Bronze. Ah. Uh, oh. Layer it's one, basically copper, you. right? <laughs> Not quite. Um, sure. Literature. Basketball. This ball handling infraction will cost you possession. Double dribble. Yeah, that's okay, what I was thinking. One. Flagrant foul, maybe? Ah! Oh, no, double dribble. <laughs> Player one, back to you. A condition of low priority. In a cooking phrase, it usually falls on the... Player one? Ah! Hey, 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 we're tied for first. <laughs> Player one, back to you for our next... You'll get a charge over this critter, an Amazon River Dweller that can pack a 650-volt wallop. Electric eel. Electric eel, yeah. Let's hear it, Player one. Is that even a thing? Tick, but... Is that a thing? <laughs> um. Well, they sound like they might make for good Mega Man X bosses. <laughs> Player one, pick again. That's true. Here's Jimmy. He'll show you. Hey, Jimmy. Water vapor and ozone are two of these gases, collectively known as GHGs, which keep heat. Oh, greenhouse gases. It's player one. Hey, you're right. Yeah. Player one, you pick again. Sure. R, as a description in mail delivery. As a description in mail one. delivery. Uh, it's either of these two, I think. I'm gonna go with that. Right. Woo! Nice. You again, player one. Where you wanna go? Um, coffee break for 400. Gulping down 400 million cups a day, this country leads the world in coffee consumption. Oh. Yes, player one? It's either of these two, I'm assuming. Pro yeah. I mean, China's got a much bigger population, so... But do they drink coffee? But, yeah, that I don't know. Uh, probably United States, then. America! Player one. Pick a In the 1940s, this libation was invented at what's now the Shannon Airport as a welcome drink for visitors. Uh... Might as well see what the, uh... Yes, player oh! Three. Player three? Yep. Son of a bitch. Player three? I you didn't start us off. click enough. The Earl of Bothwell led the plot to murder this queen's second husband three months before becoming hubby number three. Uh... You wanna take a guess? I guess we can give it a shot. Player one? Sounding like whatever this Game of Thrones shit's going on. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Mary Queen of Scots. All right. right. Yeah. Oh. Player one. Sounds good enough. The Duchess of Portsmouth was the least popular mistress of this merry monarch, and that was quite a contest. Okay, I'll take a gander. Player one. Mm. Oh god. Uh... What do you think? No, no idea. No idea. James. Sorry, that's... Aww. Uh... Anyone else? At least we're learning, viewers. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the correct response. Charles the second. Ah! Player one, choose again. Damn you, Charles. Uh, coffee the break. The brand called Chock Full of These dates back to 1932, when William Black opened a chain of coffee shops. Uh, nuts. 
That's what I was thinking. Okay, player one. Could be beans, though. That's correct. Chock like full of beans. Famously mild and expensive Blue Mountain coffee is grown in this island nation. Um, Kilimanjaro. Oh. It's player three. Ah, oh, you. S oh no. Jamaica. Well. All right. Let's get back into this. Player three has control. You might have to get as high as twenty feet off the ground to win a medal in this field event. Pole vaulting. Full pull. Yeah. It's player one. Uh. Ooh. Not Here. twenty feet off the ground, though. Samus can do it. <laughs> Player one, you in the Olympic 400 meter relay final, this many runners compete together as a team. 400, three or four. Let's hear it. Player two. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna say three or four. Player two, you're in command of the board as we continue. Right next to the marathon. It's the longest running event in the Summer Olympics. Ooh. Well, let's take a guess. Yes, player one. Oh God. Twenty thousand. Probably basically probably, a marathon. I'm not sure if that's even. Probably ten thousand meter. Ten thousand. It's probably five thousand. Oh no. Player one, where do we start? All right, here with the clue is Sarah. Led by Angel de Maria, this South American powerhouse won its second consecutive gold in men's soccer at the 2008 Games. Oh God, I don't. <laughs> it's player three. Oh. oh, we just had to name the country. Oh no, it wasn't Anyone Brazil. Else want to hazard a guess on this? I do. Hey. Yes, player one. Mm -hmm. All right, so we know it's not that Argentina. Probably. Good yeah. for you. Yeah, South Americans like this, Saka. And we'll wrap up the board <laughs> with this clue. Norway's Andreas Thorkelson won a 2008 gold medal by throwing this 90.57 uh, Javelin, I think. Javelin or discus. Let's hear it, player one. <laughs> They're both <laughs> options. Shit. Uh, yeah, but I don't think a shot put... Well, yeah, shot puts with the little thing. A discus well, is a yeah, cylinder. But, javelin? But, but 90 meters. Oh. All right, you're right, Javelin. Player three, you're going first in double jeopardy. And we'll start that round right after this break. Oh, commercial break! Should I cut the video right there? Double jeopardy these categories <laughs> awaiting the players. Let's go to Suriname. To. Insect invasion. Insect. Colleges and universities. Colleges and universities. A side of Kevin side Bacon. Of Kevin. Yes! It's in the dictionary. And the Brownings. Player three, where do we start? The 735 acre campus of this Baptist school is on the banks of the Brazos River. Oh, this is just Texas. down the street, okay, dude. <laughs> Baylor University. They're rapey over there, viewers. Player one, you start us off. That is that is literally right down the street from me. Kevin Bacon. Kevin had to go to space camp before playing the role of Jack Swigert in this film. Uh, okay, let's take a look yes, at film names. One? Probably Apollo 13. Yeah. That's correct. Kevin Bacon was in Apollo 13. Kevin had a cup of coffee in this 1982 Barry Levinson ensemble piece with chums Mickey Rourke, Paul Reiser, and Tim Daly. Uh, uh, let's see the. It's player one. 80 10 men? Sure. No. Oh. Ah. Any other takers? Not up to snuff on my bacon. <laughs> Nobody, really? Here's the response we were looking for. Diner. Oh. Well. 
You again, player one. And Megan. Holy Triskaidekaphobia. Special effects guru Tom Savini had an arrow shoved through Kevin's throat in this 1980 flick. Okay. Okay, player one. Mm. Right, 13th. Yeah. <laughs> that was the only movie where somebody got arrowed through the throat. <laughs> I don't. He wasn't even in Halloween, which is awful, by the way. They have a sex scene that lasts all of ten seconds. Kevin could handle the truth as Captain Jack Ross in this 1992 legal drama, written by Aaron Sorkin. Oh, probably a few good men. Yes, player one makes that handle the truth reference. Good for you. <laughs> Select again. Kevin played Ensign Pulver in the TV remake of this 1955 movie. Huh. All right. Player one? Uh, yeah, I have no clue about any of those. Uh, sure. Sorry. Nice one. Damn. Anyone else? <laughs> I tried. I tried. But for online play, with the whole option thing, it makes it like, why not try and go first to get the guess? Mr. Roberts. You know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Please pick again, player one. All right, where do you want to go? Um, insect invasion. 400. Responsible for millions of cases of malaria Mince each year, cases. the Anopheles oh, variety mosquitoes. of this yep. insect is one deadly bug. It's player one. Mosquito. Yeah. Raise on the roof. We return to you, player one. Yeah, he's very excitable. <laughs> About 300,000 people in Africa suffer from sleeping sickness, spread by the tsetse variety of this oh, insect. Oh, tsetse fly. Let's hear it, player one. Fly? Yep. Make sure it's not you the scarab. <laughs> they guy. killed Benny, I'm just saying. <laughs> There are 20,000 known species of these insects. Bees. Social, parasitic, mm -hmm. and killer types. Not the bees! Let's hear it, player one. Not the bees! Hey, you're right. <laughs> Please pick again, player one. Puny nickname for various insects of the family Ciaridae. Ciaridae. Uh... Should I hit the button? Uh, I don't even. Yes, player one? Uh, oh. Um. Oh, Nat. Good. I wasn't sure what he was. Player one. I wasn't under sure where he was getting at. Of the first, one million but... species of insects, more than 300,000 are of this type, including the ladybug. This type. The ladybug. Oh, beetles. Okay, player one. That's yeah. right. Way to go. Man, player we are one. just stomping them. <laughs> uh, which one do you want to go? Dictionary? Um, I guess. I don't know what Suriname or Browning's this New York supposed City to be. Burrows cheer. Loud sound expressing disapproval. Let's hear it, player three. Oh. Bronx? Right you are. Huh? Okay. Apparently Bronx player three, is a make disapproval. A please, as we continue. <laughs> a Muslim holy war or spiritual struggle against infidels. From the Arabic. Jihad. G it, Jihad, player, probably. Huh? Yep, Jihad. Wow! Yup, Jihad. Where do we begin? That was in Dune. One. A hinged plastic case designed to hold a compact disc. And usually a printed insert or liner. Um, case. Let's hear it, player one. At least jewel case. Yeah, jewel case. Is it? Yeah, probably jewel case. Good. <laughs> player one, choose again. Daily double. And don't don't bet it all this time. <laughs> you are in the lead right now. What are you going to wait? You don't want to bet at all. Alright, we'll do, uh, 5,000. Sound good? 
Okay. We'll still have a healthy lead. Here is mm -hmm. your daily double clue. This tech acronym states that the integrity of output is dependent the on the integrity of, of input. On the integrity of input. Oh, G I G O. Garbage in, garbage out. Congratulations, you're still in first, player one. Oh yeah. Oh man, he gets really <laughs> Man. He gets he gets so excited. Ready to punch. Smoked ripe jalapeno pepper, which is dark reddish brown with a strong piquant flavor. Um I mean Yes, player one. That can describe Habanero. Oh. No, that's a different type of pepper. I think uh Oh is it cayenne or chipotle? Oh. I think it's chipotle. Oh. Oh. Anyone else? Let's hear it, player three. Yes. Yep. <laughs> You're right. A lot of clues, a lot of categories, player three. Make I us got too excited. Many of Suriname's <laughs> workers come from India. This religion is practiced by almost 30%. Hindu? Player so. one? Uh, yeah, Hinduism. That's it. Okay, let's get back into this. In a 1667 deal, the English got New York City, and these people got the territory that would become Suriname. Uh, yes, player one? I want to say French. No. Ah. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Should be. My there. knowledge of Suriname is not so hot. Yeah, no, it's probably Dutch. It's player three. Hey, you're right. Yeah. A little ass hat. <laughs> Where do we begin, player three? Yeah, keep in acting all cocky. The newly married Browning settled in the Casa Guidi, near the Piti Palace, in this city. Um. Okay. I have no idea. Who who the hell are the Brownings? Anyway. I don't know. Here's what we. And why should we care? <laughs> I know the like Browning Firearm Company. That's about it. <laughs> Two of Robert's poems, Fra Lippo Lippi. And Andrea well, apparently it's a poet about Renaissance men who have ah. this occupation. <laughs> I'm just gonna let this one play out. Let's hear it, player three. Nope. Sorry. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, we got a fifty-fifty. Let's try it. What fifty-fifty? Player one. Mm. Um, priest. Oh. Priest or painter? Um, uh, uh, hang, hang on, uh, 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 quick, uh, uh, blah, 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 uh. <laughs> sorry, uh, it was painter. Rag Ragnats <laughs> is, uh, messaging me now, and, oh, we're almost okay. done. My attention was divided, okay. <laughs> Damn. Player two, you start. Guess now who holds thee? Death, I said. But there the silver answer rang. Not death, but this. What? Um. I never said yes, that. player oh, one? Um. Guess who holds thee? Death, I said. So, answer rang. Love or heaven, I would think. Or it could be or either. Maybe life, I guess. Maybe. Sorry. No. Nope. Ah, uh, it's probably love then. Else? We might be able to pull Ragnats in. Okay, player three. What is love? <laughs> Baby, don't hurt me. <laughs> Okay, let's get back into this. Player three, you Don't make the next thing. selection as we... Elizabeth attacked this practice in her 1843 poem, The Cry of the Children. Attack this. Um... Child labor? Okay, player one. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Or at least it's an option. Um, 
1843. I'm wondering if I'm kind of wondering if slavery depends on where they're at in the world, but, though. And if uh, they're yes. in Florence, I'm gonna go child labor. Could be divorce, Good though. Child labor. Oh, yeah. I am. <laughs> Layer one. We in there. Elizabeth returned to London a semi-invalid and spent the next five years confined to her room on this street. Uh, oh. Let's hear it, player two. Wimpole. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay, All right, sure. Let's get back into this. Player two has control. One of the most popular organizations at this state university in Louisiana Oh, let's see you. Marching band founded uh. in 1926. Oh, let's <laughs> see you. Okay, player one. Yeah. Uh, oh. Louisiana it... State. Uh. Are they the Tigers? Or is Tulane the Tiger? Oh God, I have no idea. <laughs> I think it's LSU. I'm gonna go with LSU. Sorry, oh, it was too oh. lame. Damn it. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Oh, my dad used to teach there, too. <laughs> yes, play Shit. Two. Yep. <laughs> Rambling. Oh, okay. Well, it wasn't too lame. All right. That makes me feel a little better. <laughs> this college was intended to be the first college within the University of Dublin, but it's still the only one. Um. College within the University of Dublin. Player so, one. University of Dublin. Oh. oh. Yeah, and your guess is as good as mine on this one. Uh, Trinity or Magdalen? I'll go Trinity. Good for you. Yeah, we got one. <laughs> Player one, you're in command of the board as we continue right now. This is awful, <laughs> These guys, Why couldn't we have more bacon? <laughs> Charles, not Sonny, was the benefactor of this Medford, Massachusetts University. Huh? Oh. Yes, player two. Player two knows. Right. All right. If you say two, so. You're in command of the board as we continue right now. Oh, daily double. This could be bad. <laughs> the other daily double. You're in second place, so what is your wager going to be? Please enter your wager. Oh, she has a safe wager. <laughs> the Lloyd's College in this state was founded in 1846, while that state was still a territory. Sorry. That's wrong. Here's the correct response. Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Player two, choose again. A powerful presence in the country is Soralco, part of this giant metal uh. company. I have no idea. Me either. Here's the correct response. Alcoa. I didn't even know that was a country. Player two, pick again. America. <laughs> Suriname is wedged between Guyana and this dependency. Suriname is wedged between Guyana and this dependency. Is this like player three? Southern Asia. Good for you. <laughs> oh, French. No, that's down near uh, to South America. No. About half okay. of Suriname's 439,000 people. At least I know where Guyana is. Capital city. Okay, well, okay. so you can take a wager. <laughs> oh my god. And you're immediately wishing you hadn't. Yeah, where do you want to go? Um, New Amsterdam? Is that a place? I guess. <laughs> no. Oh, no. I was going to go with uh, the A1. Whatever it was. <laughs> the A one. <laughs> Let's hear it, player two. Right to our oh. I'd have got it wrong too. Looks like you'll all be moving on to final Jeopardy after this break. We're still winning, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Jeopardy. Final Jeopardy. Is this. World author. Oh Robots. god. Oh boy. You need to select your wager. 
It's all or nothing, boys. <laughs> final Jeopardy clue today. Is that how we're doing it? In 1898, he wrote, 1898. As for the persons I have accused, they are uh, embodiments quick, of Quick, type it into Google. Malfeasance. Uh... Any guesses? Not really. Oscar Wilde, because he's my boy. Ah. Okay. She didn't. She didn't get it. What did you say? Well, at least that one wasn't it. Oh, oh. he's going Oscar Wilde. Oh, oh, no. How much did you bet? Let All or know. nothing. Oh, I. <laughs> will drop your score by. The correct response is. Emil Zola. This makes you our new champion player too. So congratulations. Oh look, he, don't don't act so smug, lady. You were like in dead last place for like ninety-eight <laughs> percent of the game. Damn. Yeah, it actually was Alex Trebek. I wonder if they just pulled his voice from the show over the years. Throw it in there. <laughs> no, he probably just voice acted his. You think? Just did his own lines for this. Mm. I would think so. Well, viewers, that was uh, Jeopardy for PlayStation Now. I don't know which PlayStation it's on, if it's 3 or 4. I'm assuming 3. Uh, yeah, and me and Jade suck. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm not the one who bet everything. So. Hey, all or nothing, son. <laughs> all or nothing. You went into the show without any money. <laughs> can leave without any money. Uh, we'll have to see if I should find. I should get the uh, PS1 version of uh, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, and we can play that. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I always liked Who Wants to Be a mil Millionaire better than Jeopardy, anyway. Yeah, it was, uh, so I gave Jade... I know I'm holding him from Ragnats, but that's fine. I gave him a choice between, uh, W and J, W being Wheel of yeah. Fortune. Yeah, I kind of figured once <laughs> I saw that J was Jeopardy. <laughs> so, here's just a little bonus thing for you guys. Uh, we hope you enjoyed... And angrily yep. yelled at the screen when you knew the correct answer, just like every <laughs> good red-blooded American. Or if you're from those other countries that we got wrong, we, we apologize. We're, we're sorry, yes. <laughs> so, but, uh, yeah, we'll uh, see you guys later. And if you want to see more Jeopardy uh, with me and another contestant, then uh, let me know and I'll see about getting some people in on this. <laughs> Later, guys. See you guys. Hey, guys. Just gonna add this in really quick. You get a little, like, score thing, I guess, um, since we've only done one game. So apparently we got 75% of the answers right. We're really good at history and terrible at pop culture. Which, uh, pretty much sums me and Jade up to a T right there. Oh, probably. <laughs> like that... I said, I, I killed those two categories in, like, uh, the two science categories, like the Venus and, uh, insects. Yeah. So if you want to know about the solar system, Jade's your guy. <laughs> If you want to know about Kevin Bacon, we got you covered. <laughs> if you want to know about some stupid poet, <laughs> you're on your own. <laughs> oh, man. All right. See ya.